Tommy, Ara, and Seabird are taking a well-deserved break from their fight against the seal hunters. They plan to spend the day playing on their snowmobiles, but things do not always go as planned. <laughs> Boy, that was fun, huh, Seabird? Ready for another race? I guess that last ride was just a little too bumpy for you, huh? Okay, why don't you wait here while Aura and I have another race? Three, two, one, go! Aura! Never disobedient. 
Let's follow his track. Strange, the track stopped dead. What's going on? What's the matter with you? It looks as though he's disappeared into thin air, Aura. Well, no one can disappear like that. It doesn't make sense. It must have been that helicopter we heard. He's been kidnapped. Let's go, Aura. <laughs> And the tracks stop dead. It has to be a helicopter. Did anyone see one this morning? Everyone was fishing this morning. We have to go to town, to the airport. They'll know. I'm on my way. No, Aura. If anyone's seen something, he'll come here to tell us. You have to stay here. I'll keep in touch by radio. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Tommy. Was there a helicopter flight this morning near the village? Wait, I'll look at the flight record book. Nothing to report. There were no helicopter flights scheduled this morning. A plane? No, no, nothing in your area. Nothing scheduled. Nothing to report. Goodbye. Thanks anyway. the collar there in the window. Certainly, sir. This one? I've had several people come look at this beautiful collar today. That's my collar. Young man, what do you think I am? I'm not a thief. I didn't know it belonged to someone at all. So where'd you get it? I found it on the street. Honestly, I found it on the street. Where on the street? Tell me, I have to know. It belongs to Siebert. And he's been kidnapped. Wait, young man. I don't know anybody named Siebert. And I certainly don't know anything about a kidnapping either. Hmm. I found it next to the empty factory about a mile north of here. It was on the street. In my business, we pick up everything. I should have brought it to the police, but... The factory. Aura, do you read me? Yes, Tommy. I read you loud and clear. I don't have time to talk. I found Siebert's collar at a junk man's store. I'll call you back. You found Siebert's collar? Well, now we have something to go on. Did you say a junk man? Tommy? Tommy? Where are you going? He is too much. First he tells me to stay here, and then, when he finally does call, he just hangs up on me. I'm going. Well, Tommy, I'm going too. Quiet. That's strange. I'll hide it here. Graphite? The helicopter.
Siebert must be here. I'll have to find a way to search the place. like the others. I know he's here. I'll find him and I'll save him. I'll save all of them. But who will help Tommy? The inhabitants of the peaceful little village nearby are totally unaware of the terrible wrongdoings going on in Graphite's evil factory where Siebert and hundreds of his fellow seals are in serious trouble. Tommy has done a good job in tracking them this far, but the most difficult and dangerous task remains. Come on, fast it! Hurry up! You guys can do better than that! Let's see you catch that crate and jump to it! Jump, idiot! Catch the seals, moron! You don't catch those seals! Uh, I'm coming! You're idiots! You know, you drive me crazy! Now look, you're all getting away! It's your fault! Come on, to work faster! They're busy. Now's the time. Siebert must be in there. Siebert! Siebert! It's me, Tommy! Siebert! I don't see him. Maybe he's in a crate already. I've got to go out there. But how? I'll force open the back door. No knife. Perfect. in the factory. Ah, the loudspeaker. I'll call Siebert over the mic. He'll recognize my voice. Now listen, you guys. Our job is to catch the seals and ship them, not to drop the crates. One must be good to one's boss. With me, you'll have to learn to work. Hmm. The stupidity of these people. They can't do anything right. I have to do everything myself. Thank heaven for the money. This crate, what's it doing here? I don't want to see any more crates lying around. I don't want to see any more baby seals lying around. I don't want to see one single piece of paper in the courtyard. This factory is a laboratory. I want clinical cleanliness. 
for this. We've got to go back. The collar. There. Now you'll be easier to recognize. Now let's take care of the baby seals. Wait, I've got my snowmobile. Let's go for it. I'm gonna skin those little kids. Twelve thousand eight hundred and fifteen. Stop playing around. Catch those kids. Don't you want to know how many seals escaped? Fools and idiots, you get them all dirty. I can't believe you guys. You think you're trying to be a paper of money? You're counting sheep. You're not counting seals. They're all escaping. Hold it right there. I don't think they're gonna stop. Oh, ow! <laughs> Beautiful 
Right. It's all over. Look. Do you think graphite will really learn this time? Maybe. Listen. What a nincompoop! Poison oil, Soviet jewels, grand larceny, all the wonderful things there are, and I pick skins! What a fool! These kids got my hide! I've been taking a bath. Maybe they're gonna take me to the cleaners. No! Graphite is defeated. This should be enough of a lesson for him, but does he really understand? Will he give up? Are the baby seals finally safe from this greedy fiend? Tune in to the next exciting episode.